Hello, in this screencast we're going to cover capturing some serial communications on the OpenBench Logic Sniffer. Um, the setup that we have connected to the computer is two OpenBench Logic Sniffers. One is actually capturing data and the other one is generating the serial data. Uh, we have the, the one that's capturing the data connected to the pins in between the microcontroller and the FPGA on the other uh, board. So uh, to start off, we've already downloaded the Java client from the Gadget Factory website. Uh, we've unzipped it onto the desktop. And uh, the, the zip file includes a JRE, and it also includes a Windows executable. So there's really nothing that the end user has to do besides click on the executable to run the, the Java client. Okay, so this is the, the Sump Logic Analyzer client. And uh, what we're going to do first is we're going to set it up with the appropriate settings that we want. Uh, the, the OLS that we're using for capturing data is on COM8. Um, we're going to capture the serial data at 2 megahertz. We could do it at a lower frequency, probably 200 kilohertz would do it. But at uh, 200 megahertz, the S the uh, UART protocol debugging plugin actually has a better does a better job of capturing figuring out what the baud rate is. Okay, this bitstream has 4K samples available, um, and we're going to disable some of the channel groups because we only have uh, two lines that we're c we care about. We're going to enable a trigger. Um, we want to capture. 25% before the trigger and 75% after the trigger and uh, the TX line is on the second channel and we want it to capture when it's low so we'll leave that on marked unchecked okay so at this point we're ready to to arm the trigger we're gonna hit capture and we should see it uh, it's sitting there waiting and we're going to open up uh, a serial utility that the other open logic sniffers connected to COM5 and uh, this series of hexadecimal bytes will actually f uh, five zeros will reset the device and a zero two will uh, tell the device to send its identification code which should come back as one ALS so we're going to go ahead and send that over the serial port we see that the one ALS came back We saw it came back and we also saw that uh, the client captured some data. So let's minimize this and get it out of the way. Uh, we see uh, this. Let's go ahead and label uh, the, the channel so that it makes it a little bit easier to see what to understand what's going on. So uh, channel 1 is TX and channel 0 is RX. We see that uh, put little labels there, and um, what we're going to do is we're going to use the plugin and take a look at channel zero, which is RX. We're going to disable TX to make it a little easier to to understand. We're going to do analyze, and we see that it encoded four symbols, and those symbols are one, A, L, S, and the baud rate is uh, 117.647 which is really close uh, to the 115.200 that we have so uh, let's close this now the other thing we can do is zoom in and take a look at the period of uh, the, the signal so let's go ahead and do that we're going to go to the smallest setting we're going to jump to uh, the trigger and uh, Actually, let's jump out one and go to the trigger. We're going to scroll over till we get to the uh, received data. I'm going to enable cursors and uh, set the cursor A there. Set the cursor B there. And we see a duration of 8.5 microseconds. And uh, that's it. This concludes the screencast. Thank you for watching.